Hello, and welcome to Empower the Podcast. My name is Linda, and I am your host. I am an empowerment coach, a spirit junkie, a realtor, a proud mom, and a dog mom. I'm also an animal advocate, a child advocate, and someone that overcame a lot of challenges and trauma in my life. This podcast is packed with powerful content, inspiring conversations with amazing guests who will help you heal, grow, and evolve into a better version of you so you can attract in your best and most empowered life. I don't know about you, but I'm not here for mediocrity. I'm here for an abundant, blessed life. Life does not have to be so hard. That is an old program. We can do less and attract more, and I know this to be true. I love bringing you this powerful information. I hope you enjoy, learn, and grow. Have a beautiful day. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Empowered, the podcast. I am your host, Linda Brand. If you're new to the podcast, this podcast is about becoming your highest and best self. It's about the journey. It's about growing, evolving, healing. It's about showing up for yourself and others and living empowered. I bring you guests who inspire, motivate, and educate you on all things living empowered from health and wellness to law of attraction, spirituality, all the things. It's all connected. Today, I was thinking, what do I want to share with, what empowering message do I want to share with my audience? And then I had some tears. I had some tears and I was crying last night and I was crying today. And I'm like, oh, this is what I'm going to share. I'm going to talk about how we have to feel these feelings. And the more I learn about healing, the different healing modalities is how powerful and, and healthy it is to move the energy and to cry and to feel your feelings. So you're probably wondering, why were you crying, Linda? Yesterday, I had a meeting with a book coach who helps people write books, and I was in awe. I loved it. She loved my story, and she said she had chills, and she said that I had more than one book in me. And I thought about writing a book before, and I didn't think I was good enough. And then I just was like, I don't know. And then more and more, I'm thinking that writing a book is feasible and doable. And I'm probably super healing actually and therapeutic. And then last night I was, um, in this community and someone recognized me for my trauma and my past and my growth and all of the things, my story. And I just broke out in tears and pretty much cried myself to sleep. So (laughs) I am just on this journey and I'm sharing this with you because it's just incredible growing. And, you know, I I didn't have, I always talk about you are who you associate with because some of us didn't have the upbringing, the foundation, the support of those powerful um, people and inspiring messages through their younger years. Like they didn't have the foundation. They didn't have anybody saying, you're smart, you're capable, you can do anything. What do you want to do? You can be anything you want to be. The world is your oyster, which I always would tell my son, the world is your oyster. And it's still his oyster. He's 25. It's still his oyster. And the world is your oyster too. Whoever's listening to this, it doesn't matter how old you are. Anything can happen. I'm turning 56 in April and I'm following my passion and my purpose. And it's taking me longer than some to do it, but I'm doing it. And that's my message is that we have to feel our feelings. Crying is healthy. There's so many ways to heal our emotions to feel them and heal. So it's not that we're broken. This is another thing I want to make really clear. We're whole and complete and perfect. Even though we're all imperfect beings, we're still worthy. Just being alive, you're worthy. You're whole and complete. But we can elevate our lives and we can become, you know, healing, becoming, 
I was listening to an interview yesterday with Tracy Litt, who's amazing. She's a powerhouse. And yeah, she was talking about we're we're always like healing, becoming. We're not like we're never done, basically, is the is the message here. But what I wanted to share is that we are whole and complete. We're just on the journey to become better versions of ourselves. And I've been on this path for quite a while. And it's like we always look at, we compare ourselves to others that are ahead, which is painful. And what we need to do is look at how far we've come. So there's a book called The Gap and the gain. And he talks about how we're always living in the gap of where we want to go from where we are now to where we want to go, instead of looking back at where, how far we've come and celebrating how far we've come. So that's one thing. We definitely want to recognize and celebrate the growth that we've had and how far we've come. And we are on this journey. And like I said, crying, feeling your emotions is a powerful thing to do. It's a healthy thing to do. But so many of us grew up, don't cry, you know, don't feel your feelings. You're okay. And we, and I'm guilty of it too. Someone can tell me something and I'm trying to change their mindset and shift their thoughts. I know when my son was upset, his dad would always make him laugh, which is great. It's a great interrupt, but you also want to feel your feelings because if you're not feeling your feelings and they're not moving through you, it's going to manifest in the body. I believe this. It's going to it's going to be a block in your energy in your body. So that's why EFT tapping, which I've been doing more so lately, and I just had an interview yesterday with Jen Liss, who's coming on the show very soon. It's going to be live soon. Jen Liss, who's a breathwork expert and how breathing is another tool we can use. And it's available to us at all times. I I do it in the middle of the night. If I wake up to use the restroom and I can't go back to sleep, I breathe really deep and it helps a ton. So these are just different ways to heal. But when you cry and feel your feelings, you're healing, you're getting stronger. It's good. It's actually good and healthy and it's a release. So that's my message to you today is that if you're feeling overwhelmed or you're feeling sad or whatever, feel it, notice it, allow it and cry. If you need to cry, it's good. It's healthy. That's my huge message for you. I hope you have a beautiful, blessed day. Happy, happy Wednesday. I am mentoring the child today with big brothers, big sisters, which I love because it's so much fun. I'm teaching my podcast class tonight. More fun. I feel very blessed. I'm about to take the dog out. I wanted to come here and give you this message because feeling is healing and it's so true. And the more I know, and I love bringing you this information because it's powerful and it's it's the newest, latest, greatest. And I believe it because everything's energy. And when we cry, we're releasing and we're letting go we're healing. It's a powerful thing. I love you all. Thank you for listening. If you enjoy the episodes, please share with someone you think would benefit. Subscribe, leave a review, rate the podcast. It means so much to me to grow this audience. I'm coming back. I'm coming back stronger than ever. I love you. Have a beautiful day. Take care. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode of Empowered the Podcast. It means so much to me that you are here, that you're listening. I hope you learned something. I hope you found value. If you enjoyed it, please share with someone you think would benefit from it. If you'd like to connect with me, feel free to contact me on Instagram at Linda Brand Coach or Linda Brand Homes. You can also find me on Facebook. I would love to hear from you. Send me a message. Also, I'm happy to do a free discovery call. If you're looking for a coach, I would love that. Also, if you could leave a rating and review, I would love that. It would help me so much to grow this audience and help as many people as I can. Have a beautiful, blessed rest of your day and live empowered. Thank you.